just a robot. We all know that Sonic the Hedgehog took more than one or two things from Dragon Ball Z, but just how much did they rip off? Well, the answer is a lot. Now we need to see which one came out first. The Dragon Ball Mango came out in 1988 and ended in 1995. And the first Sonic game came out in 1991. So yeah, this makes it clear that Dragon Ball came out way before Sonic. And since Dragon Balls are literally in the title, the Seven Chaos Emeralds are a ripoff of the Seven Dragon Balls. And yes, while well, you could argue that the Chaos Emeralds work differently from the Dragon Balls, there are seven of each set, the characters are always collecting them time and time again, and almost every major plot is based around them. The next major ripoff is Sonic and Goku. While their personalities are very different, and the only similarities of their appearance is their spiky hair, they both have the exact same super form. Now I know what you're thinking, but wasn't the first appearance of Super Saiyan in August 1991? And didn't the first Sonic game come out in June 1991? So Sonic actually had the first super form, didn't he? Well, you would be correct, except for Super Sonic didn't appear until the second game, which came out in 1992. Now, the third major ripoff is the edgy emo rivals of the main characters, Shadow the Ultimate Lifeform and Prince Vegeta. Not only do they both have super forms that are extremely similar, but they both have a very similar attitude. The fourth major ripoff is Trunks and Silver. While Silver is a hedgehog like Sonic and Shadow, Trunks is only half Saiyan, unlike Goku and Vegeta. However, they both are from a future that is completely destroyed thanks to events that involved the main character. They both have a super form that is extremely similar, although Trunks is a lot more cool. Now Trunks is the son of Vegeta. But is Silver the son of Shadow? Well, there is some evidence to support it. For example, Silver was Sir Galahad in the Sonic and the Black Knight game. However, the creator has confirmed this is not true. But it might have been true at one point. They probably changed it so they wouldn't get sued. Now, the fifth major ripoff is Piccolo and Knuckles. Before Shadow and Vegeta were rivals to Sonic and Goku, Piccolo and Knuckles were their first rivals. They're both a completely different race to the main character, and they both come from a floating island in the sky. Now some of you Sonic fans are about to bring up, hang on a second, the Super Chaos Emeralds came out way before the Super Dragon Balls, so didn't Dragon Ball rip off Sonic? Well, in name only. Because before the seven Super Dragon Balls were a thing, the Namekian Balls were a thing. And they're much bigger than the Chaos Emeralds, kind of like how the Super Emeralds are much bigger than the Chaos Emeralds. But everything I've told you so far pales in comparison to the last point. There's a wish made on the Black Star Dragon Balls, and they spread not only across the world, but across the entire universe. And the main characters had a time limit because if they didn't get them back on time, the Earth would be destroyed. Super Sonic was fighting Dark Oak, the leader of the Metarex. Sonic was losing. So to prevent Dark Oak from getting the Chaos Emeralds, he spread them across the entire universe. And a Metarex steals a planet egg from their planet. So if they don't get the Chaos Emeralds and the planet egg back in time, their planet will be destroyed. Also, the villains they come across in the universe are machines who used to have an organic form. Now, some of you are probably commenting down below that GT isn't canon, and that Sonic X isn't canon. I don't know why someone would comment that, because I never said it was canon. Ripoff equals ripoff, it doesn't matter if it's canon or not. Also, GT finished way before Sonic X came out. Now, some people might bring up that Dragon Ball ripped off Superman, but that doesn't negate anything I've said. Also, Goku just took Superman's origin story, and that's about it. Plus, Superman is a ripoff of the main character from Princess of Mars. Now, some of the stuff I brought up might just be coincidence. Other things like the super form are inspiration. But taking an entire plotline is clearly ripping off. Some people have also told me that Tails is a ripoff of Krillin, but other than being the best friend of the main character and both being orange, there really isn't too many similarities between them. Some people also would bring up Dr. Giro and Dr. Eggman because they're both scientists who work with machines, 
But Eggman actually predates Dr. Jiro, so that's not Sonic ripping off Dragon Ball. Also, there's not enough similarities between the two to compare them. Except for their creations turning against their masters, that's pretty similar. Hold on a second, I completely forgot about Cell and Mecha Sonic. I need to look up when they came out. Well, the Cell Saga started in late 1992 and early 1993, and Metal Sonic came out in Japan in the 23rd of September 1993. So yes, Cell came out before Metal Sonic. Both Metal Sonic and Cell were designed specifically to kill Sonic and Goku. They both copied all the abilities of the main characters. And they both have numerous more impressive forms. If you guys want to see more Sonic content from me, on my main channel I did a video about the CWC himself. Please go check it out, it's on my main channel. But if there's any more similarities between Sonic and Dragon Ball, please comment it down below.